That is a big steak. Bone in, ribeye, ready to hit the pan. For those of you who want to see me get right into it, I'm going to describe the features, do the unboxing, and talk about this razor after the shave. But I realize many of you may just like to experience the shave, hear the feedback. So it's a new day, a new year, and we're going to go with a new way of doing these reviews. So again, check at the end of the video to see features, the unboxing, and all the details you may want too. The angle works well against the flat of your face. I'm shaving with the grain. And you hear the feedback guys? Now, first blush, the six blades here, to me, are a bit, just a bit more grabby than the four blade. I'm noticing a little bit of clog because the spacing between blades has to be a little bit tighter. But in terms of protection, there's still no worry. There's no irritation. Limited grab. And a very springy head here, which takes some getting used to. But guys, I think in the long run, it will help your technique to be sort of whisper smooth. Again, you don't want to be digging at your skin. You want to shave. You want to glide across that layer of skin. Digging causes irritation, can cause ingrown hairs, can cause cuts and nicks. So that springiness, that sweeping design, it really prevents you from doing too much damage. You know, with cartridges with multi-blades, less is more in terms of passes. Now I did a seven day growth about a week, give or take. That first pass with the grain is where you're eliminating the bulk of the hair. Now we're getting into a more fine pass. I'm gonna go with a second pass against the grain. But most of the work's been done. With the against the grain pass, you really want to take a light approach. This is where you can get into trouble. I like to thin out my foam on this pass, guys. Make it a little bit more sheen, adding a little bit more water to it. All right, I'll go against the grain. So if your hair on your face and neck are growing down, you're going to be shaving up. We'll start with the neck this time. Very nice. Very fine approach, guys. I'm just letting the device do what it wants to do. Meet the skin. Still getting great feedback. 
Oh, that's nice. Hear that feedback? Some people like the minimalist approach. I think very comparable shades, guys. Kind of depends on your personality. There is more contact with six blades. It feels a little bit more suctioned to your skin. So for those of you who want that clean BBS, baby's bottom, if you're chasing the baby's bottom, maybe the six blade is the way to go. If you like using gels or oilier based shaving products or lotions, you may want to stick with the four blade because this has a tendency, maybe the six blade to clink, to clog a bit, but not bad, not bad. Let's deal with under the nose. Again, the six blade has precision trimmer that actually works. That actually has good protection. This is the best precision trimmer I've used, guys. So it has that going for it. That To me, that's a winner. So if compelled to buy either the four blade or the six, that precision trimmer just puts the six over the top. And I think it's worthy of your consideration, but look at them guys, pretty similar. This is just for if you're chasing BBS and if you like that precision trimmer to get into those nooks and crannies guys and really it works. It's the first precision trimmer that I've experienced that really works and effortlessly um, nick free. I, I'm sure you could nick yourself up, but with good use works well. Get in there and do a little precision trim right there. A little precision trim there. No problems. So guys, the new DSC Six blade razor, average guy tested, average guy approved. Rinse off with cold water. And I had a viewer recently tell me to switch things up. To shave with cold water and to finish with a nice warm rinse. So I'm gonna do that on my next shave for the next shave. We're gonna keep going with cartridges, guys. Next video will feature a Gillette rebranded packaging and that's coming soon. So I'll let the hair grow a little bit so you can get that feedback and you get an, a comparison of these blades against some pretty good stubble. I'm going to go with Post Shave Mist from Harry's guys. Beautiful. Just mist it on and let it dry with botanicals. So there you have it guys. The new DSC is here today. Again, links below. You can pick up the four blade or the six blade, either blade guys. I'm really, really impressed. Love the redesign. Again, I don't know how they got away with it, but that sweeping Mach 3 angle. Years ago when I was a Gillette user, and they came up with the Mach 3. That's, uh, that was the pinnacle of the Gillette cartridge, in my opinion. They should have stopped there. If they wanted to add the power. But I love this angle. And I'm really getting into 
that pliability because it's a nice snap to it. So you can go long with it and feather your cut or feather your shave. There you go. Thanks for hanging in there. Let's do the unboxing. So the DSC, again, sending big kudos to this company for starting the trend. Online purchasing, pr downward pressure on costs to help guys like you and me who enjoy cartridge shaving, but don't want to cut into the mortgage to pay for the cartridges. Kudos. Redesigned, guys. Six blade used to be called the executive thing to note. It says on the back, these blades and the handle, they don't fit the old handle or the blade. It's a totally redesign. So, but they're economical. Now I picked this up at Walmart, under $10. I've got the handle and two blades and also available on Amazon, I believe. I'll leave a link below for all the products I show here today. You can have them ship right to your door. You're doing something for you. You're doing something for me, guys. You know what? That's a win-win. All right, let's unbox this. Now, by the way, last week I did a review of the DSC newly, DSC's newly rebranded 4Blade. used to be called the 4X. Here it is. I'll leave a link in the description box so you can check out that video and also purchase it on Amazon. But look at that. Four blades of fun. Again, guys, it has that Mach 3 sort of sweep to it. Very nice razor. Check that video out if you haven't seen it. But let's unbox. Again, we're going with cardboard, recyclable cardboard. It's already been recycled. There's an effort here to be green. All right, let's go with it pull this guy out and it says up here welcome to the club you have a nice hefty feel to it very similar to the four blade so here's the four blade handle all black a metal core of sorts and rubber very similar guys four blade six blade Let's do a test. Used to be able to fit the four blade um, carts onto the six blade in the old scheme, and these do not fit, I don't believe. Oh yeah, they do. So if you have the six blade handle, you could use the four blade. But we're gonna go with the six blade cart today. So, very, very similar, if not the same. It's got that sweep to it. Difference I see here is the brushed nickel or chrome, whatever you want to call that. Again, has that nice rubber feel to it, so it's not slippy. And here is your extra blade cart. Very nice. So I think this will be a comparable shave with just two more blades because the form factor of the blade, the width of it, or the depth of it, very thin, guys. So when you're going into the nooks and crannies, right? When you're trimming, much easier to do. This blade also has a precision trimmer here on the back for added sculpting or sculptability and again i'm very happy with this sweep sort of a mach 3 sweep again guys links below for this for the gillette foam mousse if it's available if not i'm hearing kroger or hit or miss at some supermarkets around the country but if there's a link available guys i will certainly send you that link and my harry's Post shave mist. It's become my favorite, guys. Again, a link below. As always, I want to thank you for watching. I'll see you next time, which will probably be in a few days. Let the hair grow. But in the meantime, you know what to do, guys. You know what to do. Keep pushing play. Average guy tested, average guy approved. I'll see you next time.